On a pleasant good Thursday morning, it's January 4th, 2024. Um, let's hope for the best this year, huh? Well, the LA Kings play the Detroit Red Wings tonight, and let's hope that they get a win. Um, meanwhile, the Lakers start off the new year with a loss as they lose to the Heat, 110 to 96. And yes, we're almost halfway through the season. And yeah, we all know that the regular season ends in April, but we're, we're barely hanging on to the final play-in spot. And um, so yeah, starting tomorrow, every game is a must win. And uh, yeah. So um, it is a little chilly out. It's in the high 40s. It's going to be in the middle 60s today. And this year we hope that things go in the right direction. And um, we got two NBA games tonight. We have the uh, we have the Bucks playing the Spurs, and the Warriors playing the Nuggets. And happy birthday is going out to former MLB manager Charlie Manuel. He just turned 80, and a happy 32nd birthday to Chris Bryant, the former National League MVP and the former Rookie of the Year was a huge part of that Cubs success when they won the World Series in 2016. Yeah, Charlie Manuel used to be a hitting coach for the Cleveland Indians, would manage the Indians for a while and then would manage the Phillies. Led them to a world championship. Yeah, Charlie Manuel and Chris Bryant. And of course to the Klein brothers, Nelson Alex, they're both 68. And a happy birthday to utility player Kevin Pilar. He played with the Blue Jays. He played with the Braves, the Giants, and the Dodgers, just to name a few. And, um, yeah, so... From here on out, I think every game is a must win for the Lakers. And the Kings got to step up too. And then of course we got the LA Rams playing in three days up in San Francisco for their final regular season game. And um, I think the Niners are gonna rest a bunch of their players though. But we do need to get a win up in Frisco for sure. Um, you know, we don't know who the Rams are going to play yet. That's to, to be determined. But yeah, let's hope the Lakers turn things around tomorrow against Memphis. And the Suns play the Heat tomorrow, so we let's hope the Suns beat them. Because usually after a Laker loss... I usually like to root for the team, you know, that beats us. I want that team to lose to the, the next game. Because I, I don't know how it happens, you know, when when you have the uh, Heat play the Clippers, the Clippers come back and beat Miami, and then the Lakers, you know. But yeah, the Spurs only have five wins. They're the worst team in the West. And Detroit has lost again despite scoring 148 points in Utah. They only have three wins this year. Yeah, be, be thankful you're not a Spurs fan or a Pistons fan. Of course, I remember almost two decades ago, the Pistons and Spurs met in the NBA Finals, but Greg Popovich is in the twilight of his coaching career though. 
And of course, they don't have Tim Duncan and Ginobili or Parker anymore. I mean, that, that's when the Spurs were like the class of the NBA. And the Pistons, you know, when they had the, the Wallace boys, they had Shauncey Billups, they had Rip Hamilton. Yeah. And now it's the Timberwolves and the Celtics that now have the best records in the NBA, respectively. But the Timberwolves just lost their second home game yesterday. So, all right. I, I think it's going to be an easy win for the Bucks, But, you know, you never know anything can happen. But I expect Denver to beat Golden State so we can still barely hang on to the 10th so spot. And I hope you all have a good day. And I will see you soon.